game preservation has been under attack for years now, whether it be Nintendo forcibly taking down ROM sites, or it be some revamped, new, upgraded, remastered version of a game causing the original to be delisted on whatever platform you're playing on, really it comes down to, hope you guys hold your physical copies, and if the game doesn't have a physical copy, well then screw you, however, the Sonic Generation Sonic Cross Shadow game coming up is doing something incredible for game preservation. Welcome back to Words of Paradise, I'm your host Leon Idol, and if you didn't know, if you couldn't tell, if you're not familiar with the channel, your boy's a bit of a Sonic fan, but not like that weird, you know, Chris Chan Sonic shoot thing, not that DeviantArt stuff, like, I'm a normal Sonic fan, if, um, if, if, if one was to uh, even exist, uh, and yes, I'm very excited for Sonic Shadows Generations, I, I, I cannot wait, it's something that uh, I've been stoked for ever since the announcement, Sonic Generations is, is one of the best games in the Sonic franchise, but of course there was the worry that with the new game, what would happen, would we be seeing a delisting, well... Yes and no, Sega's delisting Sonic Generations, but somehow doing it in a good way. I cannot believe that I'm about to make a video where I'm in agreement with Polygon. I don't think that has ever happened in the year and a half I've been doing this. So we're going to get into this article before we do hit that subscribe button, because I'm a nerdy news channel, I cover nerdy news every day, and... I want to end today, it's Saturday, I want to end it with something positive, which means... This video probably ain't gonna get a whole lot of views because YouTube rewards negativity, but doggone it, it's a good day and this is good news and I want to talk about it. So let's get into it. Sega is delisting 2011 Sonic Generations from Steam and the Xbox Game Store to make way for the game's upcoming expanded remaster, Sonic Cross Shadows Generations. But the publisher is taking a rarely seen approach in its plan to remove the original Sonic Generations from sale. It will both delist the title sale and make it available for people who really want to purchase it. Now, I already have this game in my Steam library. I also own it on PS3. I think I may also own another uh, edition of it, but I don't remember. But I absolutely have it on both uh, Steam and PS3. So, really, I'm covered either way. Uh, but it doesn't take away from the fact that there are people that may want to purchase the original. Again, for preservation purposes, if nothing else. While the original Sonic Generations will be removed from the sale and standalone title on September 9th, Sega said Friday that we've heard your feedback and we want to help preserve the game. You telling me that not only am I agreeing with Polygon, but I'm agreeing with Sega as well? One of the one of the most ESG-infested uh, Japanese gaming companies as of this moment? Like, what is this world coming to where I'm, I, I'm in agreement with Sega and Polygon and where Sega is listening to fan feedback? I mean, to be fair, we, we, we've seen Sonic get, uh, you know, fan feedback stuff before. You know, the, the Sonic movie fixing ugly Sonic, but that wasn't Sega, that was Paramount. The fact of the matter is... What timeline we in? Like, I, I made a video earlier about a, uh, a company straight up denouncing Sweet Baby Inc. And now we're, we're hearing this. Is gaming healing, ladies and gentlemen? Therefore, Sonic Generations will still be available via bundles of other iconic Sonic titles on Steam and Xbox. The publisher said in a post on X, uh, existing owners of the title will still be able to download and play as well. Boom! Dude, okay, so here's the dealio. I was talking about this yesterday. Doom 1 and 2 remasters came out. I hit Steam, hit the uh, uh, you know, Nintendo Switch, the whole nine. If you had the original Doom, and then you bought the Doom 1 and 2 remaster, Doom 1 was replaced. If you had the original Doom, the remaster replaces it. You no longer access your original Doom copy anymore. And guess what? There's changes, and frankly, notable downgrades in the, the, the remastered Doom 1 and 2 collection that just came out. So, the fact that you will be able to keep this game, that it's not going to overtake, because I'm going to be getting Sonic Generations Day 1. I don't normally buy games Day 1, but again, Sonic the Hedgehog simp, what can I say? Uh, I'm, I'm resting assured that this is not going to impact my existing Sonic, uh, Sonic Generations save files, or my existing trophies, or anything to that effect, and that it's not being removed from the catalog, even if it's being removed from the store. Again, this is this is some big dubs for game preservation. Lastly, we are happy to confirm that mods on the Steam version will not be affected. So if you be running mods on Sonic Generations, that is kosher as well. Now, I haven't ran a whole lot of mods on my Sonic Generations. I, I, I mostly mod Sonic Adventure. Sonic Adventure, that's a fun game to mod. That being said, for the mod community out there, because Sonic the Hedgehog does have a massive mod community, dude, this is huge dubs again. 
The original version of Sonic Generations was pulled from the Xbox Store in late July. On Steam, the game is listed under Sonic Generations Collection, which includes the original game and its Casino Night DLC. It's not clear which bundle or bundles the original Sonic Gen Generations will be sold through in the future, but the game is also available as part of Sega's Sonic the Hedgehog Ultimate Bundle on Steam. And to be fair, it's probably going to come out with like multiple, uh, there will probably be multiple different bundles. Like, oh, hey, we're doing a, uh, a 3D, you know, an anniversary of 3D Sonic the Hedgehog, and it's going to come with Adventure Generations, Adventure 2, Sonic Heroes, you know, whatever, and you'll get it that way, or, or just basically, maybe, maybe Humble Bundle will do a thing, um, I, I don't know, but the fact of the matter is, it doesn't really matter that it's not clear what bundles is going to be a part of, because it'll probably get multiple bundle re-releases, uh, because, hey, you, you, you want to capitalize on that, in fact, it's going to, I'm, again, knowing that I own the game, it might be fun to do some sort of comparison when the new one comes out. Like, compare the two. Ooh, I've never really done something like that on the channel before. I'm getting ahead of myself, though. F fact of the matter is, worries have been quelled. The practice of delisting original versions of games in favor of remasters or re-releases of similar titles is common, especially with Sega. In 2022, the publisher pulled the Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, and Knuckles, and Sonic CD from the original dig uh, from the digital stores ahead of the launch of Sonic Origins, which included those far four games. And people, your boy included, wore pissed because there has been multiple re-releases of these classic Sonic games, none of which really actually hold up to the original Genesis collections of them just because of various problems with the ports. And some of these uh, ports were better than others. So when Sonic Origins came out and people had some problems with it, I didn't. I actually liked it and people overreacted to it. But there were people that had problems with the Sonic Origins game and they couldn't get the, the, the what was you know noted as the superior versions because they'd been delisted. That was a slap in the face and that was absolutely a, a Sega move. Other publishers have made similar moves. Rockstar Games removed Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas from digital stores right before it launched the troubled definitive collection of the trilogy. Again, this is another instance, if you guys remember, of a, a, a remaster, uh, you know, definitive edition, whatnot, being released that was garbage, that they just, they destroyed, the spirit of the game wasn't there, the quality wasn't there, it, it ran like dog shit, the visuals were awful, and you were effectively forced, if you wanted to play these games and don't have the original physical copies for the PS2, you were forced to play this objectively inferior version, and people were pissed. Again, video game companies, oddly enough, don't care about game preservation nine times out of ten. That's why this video is so, in my opinion, important. Like, yeah, do we want to talk about Street Baby Inc. and woke stuff and ideology, yada, yada, yada? Don't get me wrong. I cover that all the time. Uh, but part of saving cult culture and sort of saving nerd culture and game culture as well is not just the political ideology aspect, but also... How we gamers can have access to our games and how we gamers are able to to keep them for as long as possible. How we gamers are actually able to to own them, you know? Hey, I, I, I am all about that life of you will own nothing, be happy. Nah, I want to own my shit. And so, yeah, this is, this is such a massive story that uh, I don't see anyone talking about, mainly because, let's be real, there's so much more going on right now, but... Anytime we get a case for game preservation being taken seriously and, and honored by a company, a company that we normally lambast for their shitty decisions, is worth covering in my opinion. Ubisoft removed Beyond Good and Evil HD ahead of the release of the Beyond Good and Evil 20th Anniversary Edition. Uh, to be fair, it was Ubisoft. They can delist whatever they want, and, and frankly, the world's probably better off for it because Ubisoft is trash. Uh, and IO Interactive delisted the 2016 Hitman and 2018 sequel as part of a larger effort to roll those games into the Hitman world of assassination. Sega's plan to remove the original Sonic Generations as a standalone title, but still maintains availability, it seems like the best solution for this kind of situation. Hopefully, something that other publishers will adopt as remasters, collections, and anniversary editions become more common. Uh, and again... I get why it would be delisted from a financial aspect. You can't really... It, it's not feasible to have two games listed on the Steam store as Sonic Generations, even if one is Sonic Cross Shadows Generations, uh, just because you're going to get people who are retarded, who will buy the old game from 2011, uh, and then they'll be, be, be upset, and they'll be angry, and it'll be, it'll be bad press, and Sega will have to give out all these refunds, and then the people might not end up going and buying Sonic X Shadow Generations because they had a, a bad experience, because things weren't made clear to them, and we, we know how people on the internet, and just people in general, are fucking stupid. Uh, so, it, it, I, I, logistically, I get that it makes sense for these companies to do the delisting, but that does not make it a good practice when it comes to people who want to, again, own what they have, who want to be able to keep what they have, uh, and 
I'm, I'm a physical collector at the end of the day. I buy my games physical. I mean, yes, I, I download them from Steam as well, uh, but I buy my games physical. When, when Sonic uh, Cross Shadows Generations comes out, I'm pre-ordering the, the or not, I'm, I'm purchasing the physical Switch version. I don't know if I'm ever going to play it on the Switch. Maybe if I'm on the go or something. Yeah, go for it. But I want to have that nice collectible, you know, I want I want to have the, uh, the box art, and I want to be able to have something I can display and put on my shelf. Uh, but... For optimization purposes, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm buying it on Steam. I'm going to run it on my beefy-ass PC. Like, like, absolutely, why would I not do that? So I'm buying the game twice, effectively, uh, because buying physical and preserving is incredibly important. So, yeah, seeing these sorts of corporations and companies actually make strides to understand that while this might not be in our best uh, uh, financial state to keep both games on Steam... We recognize the want of the players. We recognize the want of our customers. And we're going to honor that by trying to meet you in the middle. And as somebody that makes video after video after video saying, we're the paying customer, give us what we want. Hey, why aren't you listening to us? Whether it be about anime or whether it be about video games or whether it be about Hollywood or, 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 or any of these subjects. Hearing this company, hearing these sorts of companies actually take our you know criticisms and our thoughts and our wants and say, let's meet you in the middle the best way we can. Bro! Dude, again, massive dubs, game, game preservation dubs, Sonic the Hedgehog dubs, I mean, just, just gamer dubs all around. It's like an Oprah show. You get a dub, you get a dub, we all get a dub, and I don't see how anyone can spin this as a negative. Like, try, try it in the comments. I fucking dare you. Try and spin this as a negative in the comments. I, can, I don't see how this is anything other than an objective win. But I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below, or let me know on X, where you can find me at both the word. And please do subscribe. I'm a nerdy news channel. I cover nerdy news every day. Not always about the video game industry or Sonic the Hedgehog, but anime, movies, music, Magic the Gathering, you name it. Check me out on Instagram at Words of Paradise underscore Leon and become a member for $4.99 a month. You can join the Discord, choose the articles we go over on a day-to-day -day basis, choose the videos we react to on my Friday night live streams, and of course, get involved with over 80 other vital idols. We are a bright, beautiful, glowing, vibrant community that I cannot wait to grow even further because we do care about diversity, but only one kind of diversity, diversity of thought. And if that's interesting to you, hit subscribe, join the Discord, and until next time, it is all here in the Nerdosphere. This has been Words of Paradise.